Welcome back to the number one YouTube channel in the entire world. Today is a very special video because we're going to be talking about Brittany and Yazan. In the most recent episode of the show, we learned that Yazan's life could be in danger because of his relationship with Brittany. And I'm really going to be elaborating on this later in the video, so make sure you watch the whole thing. So we all know that Yazan surrounds himself with very toxic individuals. His family and friends have a super toxic perspective of religion and culture and are very restrictive towards Brittany. They've been restrictive of her and wanted her to conform to their way of life since she first touched down in Jordan and throughout their entire relationship it's their way or the highway my way or the highway a lot of us don't agree with this because you know there's two people so you should take bits and pieces from both cultures Yuzan's mother literally said to Brittany that she has to forget her entire life and her old family and not talk to them anymore and they will take care of her and all of us with brains are like, oh yeah, that sounds like a great deal. I'm sure this girl that's used to a lot of freedom in America wants to come move to Jordan and be a prisoner in your household, GG. No thanks. I think we can all agree that Yazan is a big wuss and uh, brings a lot of beta energy and listens to everything his parents say. That being said, no one wants to see him get Kim jong un I don't, you guys don't, you know, that's just, it's not good. Is that dude alive? Like, no one's talking about it. Wait a damn minute. <laughs> So a little context about this couple. Britney is everyone's favorite rapper that used to date old dudes for money in Florida and still resides in Florida, specifically Palm Beach. And Yazan is a 24 year old Muslim guy that lives in Jordan and listens to everything his parents say. Yazan has an engineering degree and he works at a fish market. He told Britney that he wanted to run away with her in private DMs and he can't wait for her to come and change things and he just wants to get away from his toxic environment and family and friends and run away with her. And then she shows up to Jordan and he does the opposite. He actually tries to change her and morph her into what his family considers an acceptable spouse for him. A cousin. Brittany and Yazan's relationship is different because religion gets thrown into the conversation in every episode and every time Yazan and his family are called out by Brittany for having toxic behaviors and being just toxic individuals, they blame it on religion. Now, there's a difference between culture and religion. We're going to be touching on that throughout the video. So I know a lot of people that have low IQs can't have a civilized conversation or handle jokes about religion. So if you're one of those people that lived your entire life to a T based on a book from 2000 years ago, this this is your opportunity to click out of the video because I don't want to offend anybody. Okay, now that all those dumb mother are gone. Let's get started with the video. From where we left off on our last video covering this topic, Brittany was crying and bawling her eyes out because Yazan's mother and father absolutely berated her in front of Yazan and Yazan did nothing. He didn't stand up for his girl at all. He just took her out of there. They got in the car and that's what we're picking up on today's video. Out of birth. Don't cry. <laughs> I just arrived in Jordan last night and it's been non-stop fighting. I'm not good at dealing with emotions. This situation with Yazan's parents made me crazy. I find it strange that this version of Yazan where he's comforting his girl isn't there when his parents are involved. When his parents are involved, he sides with them and kind of shits on Britney with them. So I just don't know why you flip-flop so much. It's low-key kind of manipulative to flip-flop like that, Yazan. After Yazan comforts Britney, it turns out he splurged quite a bit on an apartment. There's rose petals on the floor. It's very scenic. It is probably the best looking place that we've seen on this season of Nine Day Fiance. And you know what? Here, Yazan did a good job. That's pretty romantic, especially with the rose petals on the floor and everything. The apartment looks really nice. And because Brittany's very superficial, this turned her mood completely around. It's like the fight with his parents never happened. Bottom line, moral of the story, if you spill out a heart on the bed in roses, dude, she's gonna forgive you for anything. Even your mom going off on her and saying, I want to open that mini education system for my gun! <laughs> I literally- I would sacrifice my life for Patrick Stan! I love you a bit. You do? Yeah, and I'm sorry for what happened now. You must to be stronger, you and me, okay? <laughs> Yazan goes, I love you, babe, and she says, you do, instead of saying, I love you back. 
So we can tell. Hey sisters, don't be shy. Buy my merch, link in bio. Britney does not love Yazan, dude. This is her way to fame. This is to launch her rap career. She's already talking to Usman, dude. If you guys didn't already know, Britney and Usman are speculated to be together right now. We're gonna be asking and confronting Britney about this later because I wanna know if they're seeing each other. I actually predicted this on my last video covering Britney that her and Usman would be a great couple. They're both terrible rappers. They're both driven. They wanna be in the industry. They're perfect for each other. They should date, they should go out. And what do you know, guys? We're gonna be updating about that later, but I'm hitting up both of them. We've been in contact and I'm gonna get to the bottom of this story and see if they're really together. I think they're together. I think Yazan's out of the picture. And I think Usman's sliding in those DMs, dude. One way was to try, to try. Cause I love you and you love me. <laughs> what? No, I didn't, I never said that. So is he telling her that she loves him or does she actually love him? What do you guys think? Comment below. Let me know your thoughts. I feel like the normal response for when someone says I love you is I love you back. Or is she waiting to say it because she wants it to be authentic and real? And I know you are probably in a bad spot because I know you can't really go against your parents. I think that Yazan really does love me, but I feel like this culture won't allow him to be happy how he wants to be happy. Uh, no, Brittany, you're wrong. He's 24 years old, maybe 25 right now at the time I'm filming this video. So he can go against his parents and stand up for himself and stand up for what he wants to do because he's a full grown adult and he doesn't have to listen to everything his parents say. You have to respect your elders. You know what? If your elders don't respect you and don't respect your decisions in life, you don't have to respect your elders. We have limited time on this earth. Why would you not spend it living life for you and not living life for other people? You're going home? Yeah. Are your parents gonna be mad if you stay? Yeah. <laughs> In Yazan's culture, you cannot stay together if you guys are not married. So that night, balls were blued. There was no fucking to be had that night. I think if Yazan swapped out with Usman, I think Usman would have piped because he doesn't uh, listen to everything his parents say. Things are going south with Yazan and Brittany. So Yazan, in his infinite wisdom, suggests that they meet with his uncle because his uncle is woke. His uncle's name is Ibrahim, and he looks like an Arabic Sherlock Holmes. Assalamu alaikum. Look at this dude. Yo, that was a lot of kisses. Can we get the kiss counter? I think that was like five kisses. You can tell Yazan really respects his uncle. He's kissing him more than he kisses Britney. I'm kidding, guys. They weren't sus kisses like the one with Oswello and his mom. These kisses were just kind of like on air, like what? What? I mean, even here in Eastern Europe, you'll do that when you like meet elderly people. You'll do a little two kiss, like a kiss on the cheek, but not really on the cheek, like no contact. You guys know what I'm talking about. So Yazan informs us that he looks up to his uncle because his uncle's very wise and educated, and it's probably the only person that will truly understand Yazan's intentions, where he's coming from, and can communicate that to Yazan's father. Because right now, I think there's a disconnect between Yazan and his father, and Yazan's too puss to say anything, so he wants to get his uncle involved to be the broker between the two. So throughout the conversation between Yazan and his uncle, we can see that Yazan's uncle is very calm, he's a good listener, and he seems to be the most understanding person out of the entire family. He agrees with Yazan's point to where if he rushes to convert Brittany to Islam, she might end up hating Islam. And I do think that the main point about this is she doesn't want to convert to Islam. I don't think she has any intention of doing so. And I think people get really touchy about this subject because it's clear as day from anyone watching the show that Britney has no intention of ever converting to Islam. So the whole thing's kind of a sham and she's lying to him about still being married and that's why she's buying time and she doesn't want to sign any papers and she doesn't want to get married because she's still legally married in the United States and she's withholding that information from Yazan and his family. Basically Yazan's trying to get time and wants his uncle to talk to his dad to smooth things over. So him and Britney can continue to date and he can try to convert her at a slower pace and they can take their time in their relationship. Yazan's uncle also brings up a good point when he says this. It is forbidden in our religion to force a person to convert to Islam against their will. Abu Yazan is a little bit of a little bit, but he is a Muslim, he will be the An important thing to highlight from what he said is that Brittany has to choose to convert to Islam. That's exactly what it is. It's a choice. She can't be forced to convert, which is what Yazan's parents are trying to do. Now that we've had a nice little introduction with Yazan's uncle, and he seems like a level-headed person, let's see what happens when he has the 
the discussion face to face with his brother, aka Yazan's father. This scene opens up with Brittany kissing Yazan's mom to show respect, and if this was me, I don't know if I would show respect to the woman that screamed at me, berated me, and kicked me out of her house, and I ran away crying. If I experienced what Brittany experienced, I don't think I would show this person respect because I wouldn't respect that person at all. And I think in this case, Brittany's showing a lot of maturity here. Right away, Yazan's uncle says there shouldn't be an engagement right away. They're still trying to get to know each other. Amen, brother. Finally, the voice of reason. حكي معك عشان الموضوع البنت هاي متعرف عليها بريتني. Yeah. مرة هذيك يعني معلش أنا زعلت من إذا عجبتك البنت. Yazan's father goes on to say, honestly, since the last time she was here, it was bothering me that they would remain unmarried. They want this boyfriend thing to stay friends. And then Yazan's uncle interjects and says, no, no, no. Let me tell you something. Yazan's uncle goes on to say, what I understood from Yazan is that his marriage to her is an eternal commitment. That's why you shouldn't rush him into marriage. And then Yazan's allegedly in. Red mother interjects and says this. You don't understand. Without a legal marriage, it's wrong. Then the uncle responds with, "No, no, no. Right now, she is a guest. She is a friend." And then Brittany takes over and says she doesn't know what's going on because she doesn't speak Arabic and she's just kind of sitting there awkwardly while they're working it out and talking about her and she has no idea what they're saying. So she's just kind of pandering around the room, being awkward. You know, showing her braces. Show those braces up. أول شيء بنت لازم أول شيء تتعرف علينا، تعرف عاداتنا، تقاليدنا، على قعدتنا، على أسلوبنا، على حياتنا. افرض انه ما عجبها هذا الحكي كان متجوزها تلاقيهم ايش من فصله اوكي يزان's uncle is just chef's kiss finally somebody with a brain in this family i agree what's the point of rushing to get married and then rushing to get separated yazan's uncle actually manages to get through to yazan's father and mother and yazan's father agrees to this courting procedure courting process this period of time where they can just date and be friends and she can learn about their culture and then they can get married in a month <laughs> this is such a sham couple. They're doomed from the start. I think what Brittany thought of when she thought of coming over to the Middle East, I think she saw on Instagram like Dubai and trophy wives in Dubai. And she was like, oh my God, that looks amazing. Dude, look at that gold G-Wagon. I think that's the mental image she got. And she was like, I'm gonna live just like those girls in Dubai. And then so you know, she flies over to Jordan. She realizes she's gonna be living on a budget with Yazan and her freedoms are gonna be restricted. And she's like, oh, plan B, I need to lie and get out of here. This is not safe. I think the main problem we all have with Yazan's family is that they're religious fanatics. Hey dude, anyone home? There's no proof that the way you're living your life is the correct way to live your life. None of us know what the correct way is to live our lives. People like them restrict themselves on what they can experience out of this life because of their belief system, because they believe in something that is not proven to be real, which is fine to do. I don't have a problem with it. Don't get me wrong, but don't shove it down everyone's throat and make everyone sound like they're sinners and they're going to hell because you choose to live a certain way. That's your choice. It's everyone's choice to not live a certain way. You know what's a really funny concept too is heaven. If you guys ever stop to think about the concept of heaven, you think the almighty creator, the creator of everything and all life in the universe wants to hang out with you motherfuckers. Like, are you kidding me? I'm not presumptuous enough to think that God wants to kick it with me and invite me up in his kingdom. You think God wants to hang out with Yazan's family? Are you kidding me, dude? I think it's generous to say half the population on earth is stupid. You think the creator of everything wants to kick it with all the stupid people up in heaven? Yeah, okay. I honestly think religious fanatics with low intelligence like Yazan's whole family are the reason why aliens don't Hey Cortana, are the humans ready for more technology? Sorry Captain, but it's been 4,000 years and they are still killing each other about different opinions regarding life after death and which religious leaders are prophets. Why are they fighting about that when none of them have been to the afterlife and back to the world of the living? I agree Captain, they are super dumb. They are also fighting about racism. But they are all the same race. Like if we invaded them right now, we would be invading the human race. <sighs> Captain, I get it. We keep planning spies to try and increase their scientific progress so we can bring them up to speed, but I honestly have doubts about whether they can evolve past their flawed human nature. Well, except for everyone subscribed to the Your Wet Sock YouTube channel, right? Oh, most definitely, Captain. They are all a different breed. Absolute units. All Your Wet Sock subscribers are invited to the Intergalactic Cookout this year. I'm pretty sure Protozoa is playing. Yeah, if you're on the fence, you should definitely subscribe because Your Wet Sock community is the best community, number one community on YouTube. Wow, just when you think everything's gonna be okay with Brittany and Yazan and their relationship because Yazan's father finally 
finally gave his consent for them to date. It turns out that Yuzan and Brittany end up fighting over her trashy Instagram pictures. Let's look at that fight right now. So here's the drama. One of Yuzan's extended family members or family friends found a picture on Instagram of Brittany in a bikini and then blasted it to his entire family and said that he found a picture of Brittany naked. Here's the picture in question. It's a booty bikini pic of Brittany and her friend showing off their assets. You guys see what I did there? Assets. You guys get the... All right, I'm gonna show myself out. Brittany also adds that this was a private setting. It was at her girlfriend's house. It's a private pool. There's just bushes and like no one else is there to like see this. This was just for the gram. I don't understand what the point is of Brittany saying that it was a private pool and no one was there to look at us when you're posting it on Instagram for everybody to see. Adi said something that like you don't respect Islam. Is gossip being a part of Islam? I mean, word on the street is there's this other sinner named Your Wet Sock who recently went on vacation with his fiance and posted, get this guys, this guy posted shirtless photos on Instagram. Can you believe that? This guy's probably going to hell too. Somebody come get him. He's gonna get beheaded. So Brittany says that Yazan's extended family is always trying to cause drama so they can break up. Brittany adds that this time Yazan got in his feelings about it and he said to her that he doesn't want to marry her anymore. So this is what Brittany actually text messages to Yazan and then Yazan and one of his friends or his brother reads the messages. Brittany says, I'm tired of this bullshit. Every day you want to marry me then you don't because of what someone asks you you are weak and insecure I don't ever want to see your face ever again because you're weak as you know what Brittany's popping off on Yazan right now but Brittany you know be even cooler is if you were forthcoming and honest with Yazan the entire time like you mentioned the fact that you're still married in the United States that would make it better then you would be like the complete good guy so you text me that you don't want to marry me or be with me because your parents were saying stuff. I'm doing that before my my parents because we said with him we want to delete that. Yazan's really coming at Brittany with this energy like, my mommy and daddy said that you're not allowed to have social media. I thought we talked about this. Like Brittany, hunty, you need to take your fake eyelashes and get away from this dude. He's sus. You said I was gonna delete it. I didn't say I was going to delete anything. I'm not gonna let them bully me into deleting my social media. Okay, so let me know what you guys think about what Brittany said here in the comments below. I agree with Brittany here. I don't think she has to delete her social media because Yuzan and his family say so. Uh, I think that's the wackiest thing I've ever heard that she would have to delete her social media because of what they think is acceptable. So Yuzan tells Brittany that we cannot fight like this and he says that we have to find a solution. I'll tell you a solution right now. You guys should break up. You're so incompatible. It's like baffling to everyone that you've like lasted this long. You guys aren't a real couple. You're not compatible. Your family friends that want to go on the show to get clout on my new fiance. Zan goes on to say that he has to pick between his honor and love for Britney, but he loves her so much. I don't know what honor has to do with anything, man. I, I really, honest to God, don't even know what this guy's talking about. Are we here because I want smoking. I'm loving you. I love you too. So stay at my place tonight. Okay, so Yazan says he's here because he wants to smoking and loving her. So he's here to f and then she says, stay at my place tonight. And then he's going to be like, nah, I, I can't. My parents said I can't. What is wrong with this dude? He's so in between. This dude has no balls. So Yazan and Brittany are not on the same page as Claire as day. Next thing you know, she tells Yazan that she has to go back to Chicago because her sister is having a baby or has a baby. And she makes up some kind of BS reason. Chicago because I have some stuff to do there. And you know, my sister is having her baby. The real reason why she has to go to Chicago is because she has a court date for her divorce in Chicago. Brittany adds on to what I just said by saying, I'm not completely lying to Yazan. I'm just not telling him the full truth. That's the definition of lying. What a dumbass. Planned on telling Yazan about me still being married to my ex, but we're finally in a good place and I don't want to ruin that. How are you guys in a good place? Brittany says she's finally in a good place with Yazan. You guys have been fighting about religion and culture the entire time, bro. You guys just had a fight about you posting bikini pics on your Instagram. A fight in which you never ended up finding a common place and he never agreed that he would back off and stop talking about your Instagram getting deleted and stop siding with his family. Like nothing has changed with you guys. You guys haven't like progressed with anything or moved forward or moved past fights. You guys are just like putting everything off for next time you fight. It's like the spinning wheel of death. So Yazan says that Brittany wants to leave to see her sister's newborn and Yazan says this gives me a weird feeling. Maybe she's lying to me. Dude, you think? She's been lying to you the entire time, buddy. But you've actually been lying to her too, Yazan. So you guys are both liars. So you might actually belong together. 
So Yazan says to Brittany, you sure you want to come back? And she says, yeah. Yeah. Dude, she's not coming back, bro. She's staying her ass in Florida. You believe it? You go to Jordan and you spend the worst time ever in Jordan with this toxic family. I bet none of you guys would come back to Jordan. And it's actually a shame because this family gives Jordan a bad name. I've heard the country's beautiful. I have a lot of subscribers from Jordan. Everyone's been reaching out to me, like telling me how furious they are about this family. I've been looking. You guys have beautiful resorts, malls, scenery. And back when I posted the first video, there were a lot of comments it was like, alcohol is prohibited in the Middle East and all this stuff. Yo, for all those people, alcohol is allowed in Jordan. There's a lot of bars and restaurants that serve alcohol. So I don't know where a lot of people get information. I feel like we have Google. Like you guys can Google it before you just like throw a dumb thought out there. All in all, I think Brittany and Yazan are the worst couple ever. They're never going to change their ways. They're never going to make it work. They're never going to be a real couple. And it's just, it was doomed to fail from the start. Let's be honest with each other. I do think Brittany and Usman are going to be a good couple. And I'm excited to update you guys on that situation. If they're dating or not, I'm reaching out to both of them right now so i will be providing updates on this channel we got the inside scoop here on the your wet sock channel my advice to you is on either grow a sack or just marry one of your cousins and listen to everything your parents say your entire life Yazan and his family bad vibes might do honor killings allegedly we don't know guys hope you enjoyed this video comment below subscribe let's be friends let's be friends follow me on twitch and on instagram right now